Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shani Marie. If you are new here, welcome. In today's video, we are finally doing my September boxy charm. I just got my box the other day, so I wanted to hop on camera and show you guys what I got my boxy charm for this month. So if you want to know what I got and see me test out these items, then continue to keep watching. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have a bare face. I have nothing on at this moment in time. I'm gonna start off with the product that I'm not actually gonna test out, but I wanted to at least show you guys what I got in my box. So I do have the Glam Glow Youth Mud, and I thought I wasn't gonna get this because when they give you the option to choose what you want in your box, I think this was sold out or was already like not available at the time for me to do it. So I just said put whatever in the box, but um, I'm glad I got it. I heard a lot of things about Glam Glow and how good they are. So I got the Glam Glow Youth Mud. It's a glow stimulating treatment. So it comes in this box. If you're familiar with Glam Glow, then you already know. So it comes in this box. And when you open it up, this is actually the product here. So I'm excited I have another mask. Um, if you watch my favorites video or... Not my favorite video. If you watch my Clean With Me video, I showed you guys a little bit of my skincare routine. And I told you guys about the new mask I was using. So I'm glad to have another one. So this is what the inside looks like. It does have like that charcoal smell, but it is a charcoal mask. So I'm excited to use that once um, I'm done with that one. Or maybe I'll just alternate uh, between these two. And this retails for $60. That's already way more than what you're paying for the box already. So I'm excited to have this in my collection. So yay. Okay, so the rest of the items are nothing but makeup. So... The reason why I don't have my face done is because I actually have a new primer to test out. And if you guys know, I've been trying to use different products on my channel. So this is the Georgette Klinger Marula Primer, and it's for all skin types. And this retails for $32. It pulls the blur imperfections and assure an all-day radiant, radiant finish. It's hydrating and long wearing. It has hyaluronic acid and it's supposed to just give you a smooth makeup application. So we're actually gonna test this out. So, so when you take it out, this is what the product looks like. It's very liquidy and has like a not a silicone, but like a very liquid feeling to it. So let's just try to go. Feels very cooling on my face. Let's see, even blurred out the pores. So my pores do look, you know, not as visible or as big as they normally do. So I do agree with that uh, claim that it blurs out your pores. So yeah, so now we're just going to test and see how it feels on, okay, first of all, I need for this to focus. Okay. So now we just need to test out and see, you know, how makeup goes over top of it. So I'm going to do my face off camera and then I'll be back. All right, so this is what I did. Something slight for the most part, but I'm missing blush because we have a blush in the box. So this is from Half Cake. This is uh, a Best Friends Forever in Bloom Plus, plus Duo Fiber Brush Set. And this retails for $22. This is a boxy exclusive. So it says, meet your blush BFFs. Get intense pigment with a matte finish that will take you from 
day to night. So this is what the blush looks like. It says have caked in bloom and the color of this is called freshly squeezed. And it comes in this beautiful lilac uh, purple color case. And then this is just what the blush looks like. So it's like this nice springy blush color, like this pink color. But I mean, I guess if you dip lightly, you can turn it into a fall, uh, fall blush as well. So that's what I'm going to use it as. And this is the brush that you get. So it is a duo fiber brush and it's also in this lilac color. Bristles seems very soft, nothing is coming out. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and test this baby out. Okay, so it does get a little bit around the contents of the packet, but this is how much picks up. So I'm not going to brush it off on my back of my hand or nothing. I'm just going to go straight in. Okay, I'm going to take my powder brush and just go over it because I use a little bit too much. And also I want to apologize for my lighting, it is super gloomy outside and even with my ISO up and my studio lights on, I still look pretty dark. So if I can, I'm trying to up the lighting a little bit more in editing, but if not, I just wanted to apologize for the way my lighting looks. However, you guys, this is what the blush is looking like. I think it's so pretty. Even though it looks semi-bright semi in the pan, you can definitely wear this throughout the fall and winter time. I just think it's like the perfect pink color. It's, it's perfect. And this brush is not bad. It has a, it does itch just a, a little bit, but I think it's doable and then I'll keep it and you know, use it in my collection or whatever. I don't need any more brushes, but it's in my brush uh, collection now. So now we can move on to the eyes. So for the eyes, I did get a mascara and two base sticks. So let's start with the base sticks. These are from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. I already took them out the box, but this is what it looks like. The box, it says, pump your base. A two multi-use makeup sticks from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. And I got them in the color Hip Hop and Jazz. So let me do swatches. So Jazz looks like it's more, it's a shimmery bronze color. And Hip Hop looks like a matte nude color. So this is Hip Hop and this is Jazz. So let me see if it's going to for you guys so most likely I will use hip-hop in my waterline um, just to give me a more bright eye look and then maybe we'll just use jazz all over the eyes so for the eyes I'm actually going to take this customized set that I made from ABH many years ago and I'm just going to take the what color is this I'm just going to take this color here and just place that all over the lids just to give my eye a little bit of something and for the color jazz to adhere to. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you that the base, the base makeup sticks, they retail for $20. So let's just run jazz all over the lid. Okay, so this is what the eyes 
are basically done and this is what they look like like this is probably the most quickest way to give your eyes some life but not go all overboard with the cut crease and the deepening of the uh, outer corners and all that crazy stuff just get you a brown that either matches your skin tone or a tap it darker or you can always use your bronzer swirl it all over your lids and then use a shimmer stick and just throw that across your eyelids put some mascara on some lashes bam you're good to go i love that this is so quick and easy i love it oh anybody else I always get boogies okay so let's try hip-hop in the waterline Ooh, I like that even in the one line. This is brighter than a lot of my other nude uh, liners that I have that's supposed to give me that bright, bright wide eye look. This is giving me that look even better than what I already have. So, I think last but, but not least to try is this mascara. So, this is also a boxy exclusive. I'm going to show you guys what the box looks like. This is the box. It says, Give Them La La Beauty. And this was made in China. It is a black mascara. And this retails for, oh no, I'm sorry, the Pinky Rose is a boxy exclusive. This is a new launch and it's called Give Them La La Beauty Mascara. It's supposed to create fuller, more dramatic looking lashes. It has silicone brush brushes and it's supposed to separate, elongate, and plump. Giving you the perfect glam without clumping, flanking, or smudging. And this retails for $20. So let's test this out. I'm not going to put on lashes so we can actually see what they look like. So this is the mascara on. I can definitely see my lashes more than I normally do. So I appreciate that. I'm a messy person when I do my mascara. So I'm not going to fault that I got mascara all on my eye look. Because I just put on my mascara so messily. But they look very long. They do look elongated. They look semi-separated. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to keep testing it out. It's not a super wet formula, but it's not a dry formula either. It's like a happy medium. Oh, let me show you guys the brush. So this is what the brush looks like. So, yeah. And it's not messy when you put it back in the packaging. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's just like a plain white tube. And... The two, the top of it is like a marble and it says give them la la, hashtag beauty. So yeah, that is everything that I got in my box. Let me put a lip, lippy on. Okay, so that's much better. I put on my Fenty Beauty lip gloss. So let's do a quick rundown of everything I got in my Boxy Charm this month. So the first thing first, let me start with what I like the best which were my Pinky Rose Cosmetics Makeup Base Sticks. I really enjoyed these. I love the whole theme of it with the whole music theme and hip hop and jazz obviously is, well hip hop mainly, is like one of my favorite genres. Jazz is cool, I listen to it like if it's at a bar or something, but I don't know, I love the whole, the whole aesthetic, the whole steez of what Pinky Rose Cosmetics is about. And they're only $20 and so you can't go wrong. They're quick and easy just to throw on your eyes just to run out the house real quick. Just if you're meeting up for a date or for lunch with the girls or you're trying to just get a little bit more dolled up for work. But you don't want to be all crazy with the makeup at work. I think these are perfect. I'm going to look into this brand and see if they have any more because I do plan on maybe 
ordering some more of these uh, base makeup sticks because I just, I really enjoyed it. As far as my second favorite thing is the mascara. Like I said, this is a new launch. This is a new brand to me. Give them La La Beauty. It's, you know, very new to me. When I thought of La La, give them La La. At first, I thought I like Anthony, but I don't think that's her makeup brand. I'm pretty sure this is probably an indie brand. So I'm always going to support an indie brand. I like how the mascara did elongate, you know, my lashes, how they made them look. You know very long and luscious looking as far as separating go i really don't see that much separating but it also could be the way that i applied it again i told you guys i do my mascara very messy so you know there's that but i mean i still enjoyed it anyway this is also only twenty dollars I me mean, yes it's expensive for a mascara but you know i enjoyed it so those are my two top favorites. I don't have anything I don't dislike and I'm keeping everything for once in my box. But you know, I, I like the half cake and bloom uh, blush. Like I said, it is a little bit of mess, messy when you dip your brush in there, but it's not, nothing crazy. I love the color. I think it's the perfect fall color. And I'm gonna have to try out this primer a little bit more. Um, Like I said, it did blur out my pores so I don't see it as much as I normally do but again I had to constantly keep using it and see and yeah I mean it's $32 so it is expensive for a primer but you know what why not why not because again sometimes the most expensive some of the more expensive makeup products do work better than lower end and the one thing I'm truly, truly, truly excited to try is this Glam Glow Youth Mud. Just because I've heard so much about Glam Glow and how good they are. And I actually want to try this out. So I actually might try this out tonight and, you know, maybe give you guys an update on how I feel about it later on, you know, in a couple of my videos or something like that. I'm just so excited to try it. So let's add up everything in this month's box. So this month, this box retail for $154. And the first thing you get that's already over the price of the box is the Glam Glow this month. Like I said, this retail for $60. And you're getting this in a box with other items for only $25. And this is just a base box. So I think they, really, they did a very good job for September um, like I said before you know some boxes they you know they failed on and I think they really knocked it out of the park this month so I'm excited to see what October brings so if you enjoy my boxy charm September unboxing then I thank you guys so much for tuning in don't forget to like this video as well as subscribe and turn on your bell notification you get notified when I upload my next video thank you guys so much for the support and I'll see you in my next one Bye.